graphical analysis, we can as well talk about uh, changing velocity as well. Okay, then we'll again come back to solving numericals of constant velocity. But let us talk about the entire graphical analysis today itself. Do you know what is acceleration? Write down acceleration is acceleration represents, write down acceleration represents acceleration represents rate at which velocity is changing. Acceleration represents rate at which velocity is changing. Okay. So mathematically how much it should be equal to so more is a change in velocity, more should be acceleration or not? If, if the velocity is changing more, acceleration should be more, right? So it is directly proportional to change in velocity. And if that change is happening in lesser time, acceleration is more or less? More. more. So it should be inversely proportional to time in a second to change the velocity. Okay, so that is why acceleration mathematically should be equal to change in velocity divided by how much time it has taken to change the velocity. Okay, so the average acceleration, write down the average acceleration is change in velocity which is V2 minus V1 you can say divided by delta T. It is a vector quantity. It's a vector quantity because velocity is also a vector quantity. Okay. So this acceleration could be because the velocity is increasing or could be because velocity is decreasing. Or when I say increasing or decreasing, I mean to say magnitude. Magnitude of velocity can increase or magnitude of velocity can decrease. It will create acceleration or deceleration. Right? Can there be acceleration if velocity magnitude is not changing? Direction can change. Example, circular motion, right? Constant velocity, a constant speed. Suppose it is moving in a circle, then also it requires a force towards the center. A stone, if it has to move with constant speed in a circle, it needs to get tied to a string and then only it will move in a circle. Why? Because there needs to be a force over the center to cause centripetal acceleration. Earth is revolving around the sun at a constant speed, let us say. Okay? Then also it requires a force of gravity between Earth and sun. Otherwise, Earth will not move in a circle. That force is creating centripetal acceleration. Okay, that centripetal acceleration is perpendicular to the velocity, so there is no component in the direction of velocity. So it doesn't change the magnitude of velocity, but it does change the direction of velocity. Okay, so just by changing the direction also, there will be acceleration. Okay, so this subtraction you see in the numerator, this is a vector subtraction. Vector. Alright, you should not subtract the magnitude of the velocity, you should, vectorly you should subtract. But when you talk about motion in a straight line, they may subtract or add like numbers. Okay, so this is the average acceleration, what about the acceleration at a particular instant, how will you find that? When delta t is very small, it will, it will become acceleration at that moment. Okay, so I can write the acceleration, instantaneous acceleration write down is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta v by delta t. This should be equal to what? dv by dt. Okay. If v vector is given to you, then if you differentiate it, you will get acceleration. If that derivative is equal to zero, acceleration is zero. Very simple. Okay. Now let's take a few numerical on this. But 
suppose the object is going in this way, 3 meter per second, 3 meter per second, let's say object is going in this way, and after, let's say, 5 seconds, its velocity reverses to 3 meter per second. Back. Velocity reverses the direction, magnitude is same. Find out the average acceleration. In 5 seconds, it is happening. Zero. 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 How do you say zero? Oh, no, it's not. It's 3 minus or minus 3, which is 3 plus 3, which is 6 by 5. It is not zero. It's, it's, it's not zero. Why it is not zero? See, magnitude of velocity. Initial velocity is what? Guys, initial velocity is what? 3 meter per second? Let's say 3 meter per second initial. Final velocity is what? Minus 3 meters. Minus 3 meter per second. Velocity is a vector. If one direction is positive, the other direction is negative. So if initial velocity is taking positive, the final velocity will be negative. Yes or no? Okay. So u2 minus u1 will become what? u2 minus u1 is minus 6 meter per second. That divided by 5, so minus 6 by 5 meter per second square is the acceleration. What does minus signify? Opposite to the direction you have assumed positive. Which direction you have assumed positive? That direction you have assumed positive. So your acceleration is this way. That is what negative sign signifies. That's all, nothing else. Okay? It will be opposite to initial velocity if both have opposite signs. But negative sign doesn't always signify that it is opposite to the initial velocity because your initial velocity could also be negative. Yes or no? If you assume that initial velocity is minus 3 meter per second square, minus 3 meter per second, and the acceleration is minus, both are in the same direction. Okay? So negative just signifies this. The direction we have assumed positive, the acceleration is in opposite direction to that, nothing else. Okay? Now, let us say this is a scenario. Suppose, object is going uh, in a circular motion. It is moving in a circular motion of radius r. So, those who have not watched these vectors, please do it as soon as possible. Okay? It is extremely important. It is coming again and again. Okay? It just takes two hours of your time sit down and watch the videos, I have divided the videos also, 10, 10 minutes, no video is more than 10, 15 minutes, you can watch it at your own pace, but you have, you can't ignore it, okay, please do that. Suppose at this moment, it is moving with 3 meter per second, okay, suppose it travels a quarter circle, it reaches here, topmost point. Here also velocity is 3 meter per second. Yes or no? You have to find the average acceleration between point A and point B. Find out. Between A and B, what is the average acceleration? Now it is 0. For velocity. It is not 0 because its velocity, the direction is changing. 3 root 2 divided by, no, 3 root 2 minus 3 divided by. You can't solve it verbally. How much time? Ah, see, you have to ask how much time it has taken you. How can you get the answer? Did I tell you how much time it has taken from A to B? From A to B, it is taking 6 seconds. Okay, is velocity changing or not? Right now like this and then like that. Is the velocity changing? Yes. There has to be acceleration. Acceleration cannot be zero. If velocity is like this and like that, both ways, 
both the same direction, same magnitude, then it is zero. But one is like this, other is like that. So one, this velocity is different from that velocity. It cannot be zero. So how we will do this is like, you can do it simply like this. You can take this as a y-axis, your x-axis. So your initial velocity is what? In terms of i cap and j cap? 3 j. This is initial velocity. 3 j. Upwards. Yes or no? Your final velocity is how much? 3 i. So difference in velocity u2 minus u1 is 3 i minus 3 j. So acceleration is the average acceleration is magnitude of difference in velocity divided by delta t. Magnitude is 3 root 2 root of 3 square plus 3 square divided by 6. So root 2 by 2, 1 by root 2 meter per second square is a magnitude of acceleration. Okay? Understood? Alright? 